Hey guys, if you're a fan of Indian basketball, then subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Yeah, yeah, okay. We have played many matches uh, uh, for Indian Railways as well as Indian team. Uh, but today's question, I just want to ask you as a coach of uh, Indian team for many uh, matches. And uh, uh, you are representing a basketball family. Your father, uh, late Kushi Ramji, is also Arjuna Wadi and uh, uh, his contribution to the basketball, everyone knows. So I... I want to know when, how do, how, when, how you become, uh, how do you start basketball career, and uh, uh, and after that, uh, how you are taken up uh, basketball as a profession. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for inviting me this uh, in this conversation. And also, I congratulate uh, to you and uh, Indian basketball uh, fans. Uh, for starting this uh, program and uh, good to see all uh, you, my colleague Jay Sankar, Lakshmi Kant, Geetu uh, and uh, uh, Vishesh, all star uh, players. Uh, uh, they have uh, played uh, on a much, much uh, higher level that uh, makes us uh, proud. Uh, I started uh, by seeing my father playing. Uh, and uh, in 1977, I started uh, the first, that was my first competition when I played in uh, school uh, state championship. And after that, uh, just kept on playing and uh, progressing. Uh, my father, Kushiramji, uh, uh, undoubtedly he has been the best uh, uh, player of Asia in his time. And he had taught us a lot of things. So, uh, in 1983, uh, I played first senior national and then uh, joined their income tax. In 85, I started playing in Indian team. So, that went on. Uh, but uh, that is not so important that I uh, brief uh, about my <laughs> this yeah, one. Of course, yes. But uh, 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 the thing which I have followed, uh, the guidance of my father, uh, the discipline. Discipline I followed uh, throughout the my throughout my sports career, coaching career now also, and that is very important for uh, all the sports persons. Uh, then, yeah, Ramu, each of us, uh, hello, yeah. yeah, yes, Ramu, we all played for India, Indian Railways. Uh, Indian Railways, we defeated the uh, service. I remember this still that match. We defeated uh, services at the Mysore uh, mm. Nationals in '87. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, and so on. Uh, now I just we just want to know your uh, experience and uh, as a coach of Indian team. See, Indian team, uh, I coached and uh, for Indian team. See, winning a medal in Asian Championship, Asian Games on on a, uh, Asia level. Uh, that was uh, my strong desire, my father's strong desire, and I even uh, now also, I uh, um, have a strong desire that Indian team must uh, win a medal and we can do it. Uh, the efforts have been going on for, uh, since the, the basketball, uh, since the India Indian team started playing in basketball in the international level. So... Now, uh, now the good uh, the team is in uh, good condition. That time also, when we played, these things were not uh, told. Now the, the training uh, programs and now the, what the things training uh, programs now the players are following that was not followed in our time and mother my father's time was totally different. Yeah, yeah, they are getting more but, exposure. Uh, so uh, he was of the view that uh, there must be the best player of Asia in yeah, yeah. Indian team. Then only we can take the team uh, to progress. And now I would say that first prepare individually of that level. Number yeah, yeah. one or two forward player should be from India in Asia of center player or guard. Three, four players should be there who have a standing in Asia, not in India. It doesn't matter that you are best in India so that uh, you are there. And uh, just simply representing the Indian team, uh, 
is maybe we uh, the person himself can uh, feel proud on that but because i've been uh, now in uh, the administrative line uh, so uh, we can now judge that where basketball stands in india yeah right ramu we'll come back to you we'll have a general discussion we have a lady yeah. who has got a very good exposure at the uh, wnba uh, try out i'm talking about geetu anna jose so let us have a chat with her uh, with geetu uh, who's in kottayam if i'm not wrong uh, i'm in toronto we are joined by sajjan sir as well yeah very good uh, okay so uh, kitu uh, i we just want to know about your experience of uh, having done the tryouts even though it is in 2011 i don't know anyone is interviewed you about that that you, i know that uh, you have uh, played given tryouts at chicago for chicago sky los angeles park and san antonio silver star so what is your experience and uh, we want to know what is the difference between the basketball in asia and uh, your uh, uh, personal experience at tryouts okay uh, hi everyone um, i'm also so happy to be here and uh, the e uh, conclave is uh, for the first time and i wish you all the luck uh yeah uh, 2011 um i went for the tryouts it was really hard uh, but it was my dream and i was so excited to go there uh, uh troy just just really helped me to you know reach that level thanks to him <laughs> and uh, uh, he came down to chennai for giving uh, me uh, a week of uh, training session so that was intense training training session uh, uh, you know when i went to the uh, tryouts in chicago los angeles and san antonio it was i felt like okay this is all the players the people are playing basketball in different level like we we are like you know asian championships are really soft games we are playing here there it's 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 really difficult and intense uh more intensity is there like physically re- really felt fit there and um, i was like uh, it, it was a very uh, great experience for me even though it was my dream um uh, i was really uh, you know felt bad that i couldn't make it to the team but uh, it was a great experience for women from india uh, you know getting a, a bigger sex exposure uh, in wnba yeah what- the the question to you is why you didn't get a chance to play what what was it, what was uh, lacking on you uh, i think uh, um, you know uh, i i played in australian league in uh, from 2006 to 8 three seasons i played there then i got a you know two or three years gap uh, i used to think that if i was in australia and playing the uh, higher levels or higher leagues in australia or in a different place i would have definitely make it to the wnba because uh, the exposure you are getting from a uh, foreign uh, foreign uh, teams foreign leagues is different than uh, playing in india and you know uh, and, and maybe because of the training sessions and the players are really different they giving you um, every every time every games every tournament every place you play uh, are really intense intensity but i didn't make it to the uh, wnba maybe because of lack of lot of training sessions i mean intense training sessions i used to think like if i get a, i i if i would have get, got a scholarship or you know uh, something in nba or a wnba or even in ncaa definitely i would have been in in the next league but yeah. i'm happy uh, as <laughs> yes kidu uh, thank you for sharing your experience i'm sure uh, uh, anil anil is also uh, uh, with us uh, today i mean uh, I, um, i know i know that uh, he has uh, coordinated uh, for uh, your uh, uh, presence yes, at, uh, australian, at uh, australian league yeah so it is a it was a yes, good, uh, uh, opportunity for you and uh, i know that you have done uh, uh, immensely well and uh, uh, you please stay back for the general discussion now over to uh, lakshmi yeah. kantiwari to uh, uh, to take uh, clue from uh, vishesh and uh, sajan singh uh, thank you sir thank you for giving me uh, this opportunity सजन सर सबसे पहले आपको मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा एज आई बी पी ए प्रेसिडेंट की आपने हमारे लिए टाइम निकाला और इस सेशन में आए सबसे पहले हम जानना चाहेंगे कि आप ये जो ये हमने एक इनिशिएटिव लिया है उसको लेके आपके आपका क्या थॉट्स है उसके बारे में हम जानना चाहेंगे मैं सबसे पहले तो जयशंकर जो हमारे आई के सेक्रेटरी जनरल है उनको धन्यवाद करता हूँ उनको बहुत कंग्रेचुलेट करता हूँ की उन्होंने ये जो बास्केटबॉल कंक्लेव शुरू किया है बास्केटबॉल को प्रमोट करने के लिए और मैं ज्वाइन नहीं कर सका पहले कुछ प्रॉब्लम था मेरे को इतना पता नहीं है और मैं 
ट्रॉय जस्टिस जो वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एन बी उनका भी बहुत धन्यवाद करता हूँ कि उन्होंने ये प्रोग्राम को ज्वाइन किया है सो so, ये सब बास्केटबॉल जो फैमिली है इंडिया की सबको मैं इस प्रोग्राम शुरू करने के लिए साथ भी मांगूंगा और उनको बधाई भी देना चाहता हूँ ताकि जो आगे आने वाले टाइम में हमारा इंडिया का बास्केटबॉल जो है वो एशिया और वर्ल्ड में उसकी जो है अच्छी रैंकिंग आए अच्छी अच्छा परफॉर्म करे Uh, Troy Justy, the vice president of NBA, uh, he is currently heads the international basketball development. Uh, before that, I remember uh, in early 90s he visited India with uh, in with the athletic in action team, and we played uh, a match in Chennai. So oh, those are nostalgic moment. Uh, we had a good time there. After that, uh, he came back to India as the head of uh, NBA India operation. Uh, i i request uh, try justice to give his opening remarks even though he has stepped in now over to try thanks jay hi everybody uh great to see everyone um and, and jay i remember back in 1991 um you know when we were in chennai playing against you i remember you could dunk back in the day very easily and um now with that but you were a great shooter and uh, all around player so I've known you for almost 30 years now. It's amazing uh, how time flies. Uh but so good to see everyone. I um I would first say that you know basketball has brought all of us together as a family. Um and that's really what we are. You know, we're one family and and basketball is a beautiful game because it does that around the world. It creates friendships and um as you all know Um you know when I left India I I said I left a big part of me there uh and I brought a big part of India back here with me when I came so uh you all taught me a lot I've learned a lot from you um and I've gained so much and my life is richer because of the experiences that we've shared together um during this crisis we've uh, had a lot of discussions about leadership Um a lot of questions have come up how are you handling the crisis um what are some different principles that could be considered during this time and I guess I would just share a few things with you number 1 um you know when you wake up in the morning just make each day your best day um what happened yesterday is gone it's behind us and so today is what is in front of us is is our opportunity to make something special and something new And so uh that's one just wake up ready to go ready to have energy and ready to do your best work um and to give your best effort. Uh and then secondly is just be the best version of you. All of us are unique and different. Um we all have different ways of thinking. Um we're from different places. We have uh different ideas. And so you're you're all special all of us are. We're very unique people and so just be the best version of you. uh that you can be don't copy someone else you're an original um then the third thing i would say is um as leaders i think we need to spend more time listening and less time talking you know i think we need to listen 90% of the time and talk 10% of the time um and when we listen we need to be active listeners and really try to understand what the other person is saying so that we can understand what we should be doing and so i think that's the principle that i I've been trying to work on in my in my own life. And then lastly, um in college I studied the Greek language and there was a word in the Greek language called prous, P R O U S. Uh if we spell it in English or in, in you know English version and what that word means is power under control. Um the idea here is that if you're Vishesh and you're playing point guard um you could take every single shot because the ball is in your hand but you choose not to because you want to make the extra pass to your teammate um you want to give make others around you better and so power under control is even though you can do something it doesn't mean you do it you refrain and you hold back and you give other people in the room an opportunity so that others around you become better and so i think it's a principle of life that we need it when we're parenting our kids or if we're um uh working with our colleagues or whatever we might be doing that we look for ways to step back and refrain and hold ourselves so that we can give others 
opportunity and make others around us better. Um, so anyway, with that, I, I don't want to go on, but it's just so good to see you and thank you for uh, having me on the call. I'm going to stay on and, and hear what you all have to say. So thank you for having me. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Troy. This is Lakshmi Gant, uh, from Indian Basketball Fans. And uh, I'm, uh, I, we are welcoming you for the, this session. And uh, first of all, uh, I just want to know you work with uh, uh, you work with NBA India closely, and you 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 spent lots of time in India. So, what would you like to say about the Indian basketball, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 development? Because that time you came, that there lots of stuffs come like NBA Mahendra, like. Lots of uh, stuff uh, came like players got the gradation and lots of NBA different initiative and NBA is currently uh, currently holding lots of uh, different uh, programs. So what would you like to say on this? Well, so as you all know, I came there in 2010 and now we're in 2020. So it's been 10 year, a 10 year journey uh, from the time I came. So um, I'll say this, that when I landed, um, I remember a lot of the media were asking two main questions. Number one, when will we have a player drafted in the NBA from India? And two, when will we have an NBA game in India with NBA teams? Both of those things have happened. Um, that doesn't mean to say that, you know, that, that to, and honestly, from my perspective is it's just the tip of the iceberg and just the beginning. And so... Um, it's amazing, actually, when you think about it, that within 10 years, those things have happened. And so um, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in uh, the great things that India basketball has to offer. Uh, as you all know, Gitu, who's on the call, um, you know, had uh, WNBA tryouts and um, was, you know, the top player in Asia for so, for so long and so many years. And so just seeing the incredible amount of talent in the country. There's a lot of athletic talent. Um, I see the coaching standard has really improved in the last 10 years since I've been there. I see that the number of boys and girls around the country playing the game has increased. Um, I continue to see that you all, um, the, the, the alumni, the engaged stalwarts, uh, the, the legends of the game and even those who are still playing continue to give back to the game in very valuable and meaningful ways uh, that are making a difference in the game. Um, if, if everyone in this call just walked out and said, you know, that's in my past and I'm moving on, uh, it doesn't give the aspiration for the youngsters to, to look to. Um, and so I see a lot of things that have come together in 10 years, but I believe the next 10 years are gonna be greater than the previous 10 years. So what happens between 2020 and 2030, I think is, is, I think we've been on a growth pattern, but I think we're ready to really accelerate and things are gonna to continue to, more will happen in a shorter period of time as we continue to move forward. My colleague, Mark Poulos, who is the Director of Basketball Operations for NBA India now is on the call with us today. If you haven't met him, please make sure you get a chance to do so. Um, but that would be my thoughts, Lakshmi. It's great to see you and thank you for the question. Thank you. Thank you, Trump. So uh, we have, uh, before going for the general discussion, we have uh, Vishesh with us, the current Indian captain. So I'm sure uh, you have, Lakshmi Kant has uh, got a lot of questions. So please shoot. Uh, thank you, Vishesh, uh, uh, for joining us. You are Indian team captain. And you are always, you see, it feels good. You always get a overall player. विशेष भाई सबसे पहले मेरा आपसे ये क्वेश्चन है इंडिया ने जब चाइना को हराया 2014 में पहली बार उसके बाद 2016 में हराया था वो जो मोमेंट है उसके बारे में बताइए हम सब लोग जो यहां पे जितने लोग सेशन में जुड़े हैं सब जानना चाहते हैं क्योंकि चाइना को हमने कभी नहीं हराया जब चाइना को हराने के बाद ही वो अलग ही मोमेंट था उसके बारे में बताइए विशेष भाई वेल हाय गुड गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबॉडी एंड व्हेन इन 2014 इट वाज दैट वाज अ एशिया and uh, Scott Fleming was the coach of Indian men's team. And uh, uh, we played against China and uh, it was a good game. And uh, we won that match and we did some, you know, extraordinary things in that match that day, actually. And uh, that match was the key from where uh, actually you can say India has raised. Because after that, we played against uh, Jordan, Iran, 
everybody and i guess first time we lost by only 2 points 3 points 4 points that was the total difference under 10 we lost to everybody over there so that was a great tournament and in 2016 you can say that time uh, scott was not there he left india and uh, in 2016 when we played that day also everybody played very well and uh, you can say that was uh, total of us and uh, we played very well and extraordinary and we won that match and that was a great feeling that uh, in both both days when we won against china विशेष मैं ये दूसरा सेकंड क्वेश्चन मेरा ये है आपसे कि जिस तरीके से अगर बात करें एक इंडियन टीम को इंडियन टीम में हमने एक राइज देखा है पहले क्या होता था पहले हमारे जो प्लेयर्स थे हम देखते नहीं थे कि डंक वगैरह करने में थोड़ा सा इसके चाहते थे लेकिन आज के प्लेयर हैं आप अगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में चले जाओ स्टेट में चले जाओ नेशनल में चले जाओ इतने प्लेयर डंक करते हैं डंक मारते हुए दिखते हैं ऐसा लगता है कि इंडिया का जो जो बास्कोट का स्टैंडर्ड है वो अलग ही लेवल पे चल गया है आप अभी क्वालिफायर्स खेल के आए हो इराक और बैरेन के अगेंस्ट मैच है बैरेन के अगेंस्ट हम एक पॉइंट से हार गए थे हमारे हाथ में मैच था इराक से हमने मैच जीता ओवरऑल ये जो दो मैच है और जो प्लेयर्स का पूरी तरीके से परफॉर्मेंस है उसके बारे में क्या कहना चाहेंगे see uh, first of all i'd like to say that uh, basketball never stays at the same place and uh, the game pattern is not not always same earlier it was like dunks was rare in the game now you can see dunks are very you know easily anybody can make dunks nowadays and the game has changed now it came uh, came from outside the arch people are shooting more three pointers in the game making more three pointers in the game so game has totally changed and uh, Uh, your question about this uh, two matches uh, the first match when we played against bahrain it was going it was uh, going good that day actually and uh, it was totally in our hand and in the last moment some of you know because uh, first of all our uh, indian team right now it's a young team young and old mixture oh. so most of the players don't have a very good experience about the international tournaments so for them it was a, a new exposure new experience and uh, you know you, that uh, that is the place where we lagged and we lost by one point against bahrain but uh, with the performance of the team i was very happy that uh, they actually showed up over there that ki they can play over uh, in the in that level international level and in the sec- uh, in the second match you definitely seen that we won by around 19 points 20 points so that was the thing the question is to sajan singh chima uh this is regarding the game we played uh, at uh, tutukuri in ba- all india tournament where the basketball court is near to the i think most of the i think ramu has played and uh, some of them watching this match they have played this tournament at uh, tutukuri uh, there are i'm talking why i'm talking this about uh, the discussion general discussion one topic is why the basketball tournaments of uh, number of basketball yes. tournaments have come down so i would like to take a, uh, have a word with uh, sajan singh to talk on uh, that basketball uh, tournaments uh, especially uh, the summer season uh, used to have it in kerala uh, tamil nadu then uh, punjab and uh, few tournaments in mumbai so i i just want to know the tournament the, the standard of tournament uh, the enjoyment you used to get as a player playing in front of 2000 uh, spectators जयशंकर मेरे को याद है अभी तक कि एटीज के बाद हम लोग उधर साउथ में बहुत खेले हैं और सीरीज होती थी केरला में भी और तमिलनाडु में भी और तकरीबन मेरे ख्याल में एक साल में उधर पंद्रह सोलह टूर्नामेंट तकरीबन हम खेलते थे और बहुत ही अच्छा वो अरेंजमेंट होता था अच्छा क्राउड आता था और मैं समझता हूं कि उस टूर्नामेंट्स को देख के बच्चे जो छोटे लेवल की टीम्स भी थी उनको चांस मिलता था खेलने के लिए और उससे एक आजकल मेरे को पता नहीं है पर मैंने सुना है कि बहुत कम लोग जो हैं वो उधर टूर्नामेंट करवाते हैं नहीं तो हमारे टाइम पे सारा साल तकरीबन बिजी रहता था स्पेशली केरला तमिलनाडु और पंजाब में भी दो तीन टूर्नामेंट्स होते थे दिल्ली में होता था सो बहुत बॉम्बे में रामू मेमोरियल 
सो so, बहुत अच्छा माहौल था तो आजकल मैं कभी बात करता हूँ तो पंजाब पुलिस से प्लेयर से बात करता हूँ तो वो बोलते हैं कि साल में तकरीबन एक दो तीन टूर्नामेंट मैक्सिमम जो है वो खेलने जाते हैं तो वो ऐसा होना चाहिए मैक्सिमम टूर्नामेंट्स होने चाहिए कहा तो अगर मैं अपने आप पे लू तो मैंने बहुत कुछ उन टूर्नामेंट से सीखा है और बहुत गेम को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए भी वो एक बहुत बढ़िया मौका मिला था मेरे को सो ये टूर्नामेंट्स कम हुए हैं बहुत दुख की बात है मेरे को रीजन मालूम नहीं कि क्यों ये इतना टूर्नामेंट्स करवाने बंद कर दिए Yes, uh, that yeah. is a, that is one of the topic uh, in in the general discussion. Uh, I know, Sajid Bhai, yourself, uh, you are the first per, uh, you are the person who started the highest prize money tournament. I remember uh, uh, when you are uh, at the Gidarba. Uh, uh, we have played that tournament, uh, and uh, uh, those type of tournaments are not here uh, nowadays. I think there are few tournaments like we know this year, the host of uh, Jammu Memorial and Anil also there with uh, with us uh, who has uh, conducted the. Uh, Uh, all india tournaments in trivandrum uh, he con- conducted in the style uh, uh, giving accommodation in kovalam beach in star hotels so let us discuss on this this point why the basketball tournaments are not there enough enough tournaments are not in the con- in the country this is the one of the topic uh, we would like to discuss so let us have a general discussion we will have a few from uh, uh, our guests also other than the panelists so uh, let us talk on that so over to ramu uh, let let us have uh, let us have your opinion on why the basketball tournaments are not happening uh, uh, now say just now jasankar you said that sajjan bhai started their uh, tournament in gidarwa and Mar- malot also and that time we were playing and i can guarantee you i can say that uh, that was the best tournament the highest prize money ever given and lot of other prizes that was very very motivating for the players but how much pain he has taken for that that he himself knows the same thing happens with hello the same thing happens with all the organizers they have to take a little, lot of pain lot of efforts are required in that and nowadays to bring the uh, sponsorship money it uh, it has become uh, very difficult beside that you have to give all the in comparison to uh, the facilities which were given earlier now um, we expect that uh, good hotels and good ground conditions will be uh, given so the um, uh, expenditure in uh, overall expenditure has been uh, raised and uh, if you want to conduct these all things have to be done Although the tournaments are going on in uh, south uh, now, also Priyakulam, uh, Koyambatur, Kurur, these tournaments are there, but um, uh, at a very uh, means medium or low profile. That is the reason. So uh, we have to promote people or bring the, them uh, who can um, um, host tournaments. We have to promote them. Yeah, as a also current player. Motivation. Yeah, thank you, Ramu. I am sure uh, as a current player, Vishesh can uh, uh, contribute on this topic. Uh, Vishesh, what's your uh, uh, view view on this? The tournaments well, are reduced compared to the nineties, uh, nineties uh, and eighties. Well, definitely you are correct at uh, your topic, and um, I uh, myself when I started playing, and uh, I as a professional when I started playing. we also used to play a lot of tournaments in india like uh, five six tournaments uh, just championship in uh, tamil nadu and kerala gidarwa in punjab there was two three tournaments and delhi also pnc and uh, many more in mumbai savio cup ramu and all those ones and nowadays uh, there is no tournaments and actually for as a player uh, i just have uh, one thing in my mind that uh, after senior nationals and uh, their state championship and district championship the other players who uh, who are not even though working with any organization where they will play they don't have uh, much tournaments to play and when this tournaments were there so many players used to play a lot of matches a lot of tournaments and uh, you know they get more experience and more exposure so nowadays that is lacking yes which is uh, that is my main concern 
Yeah, yeah, you are right, absolutely. In fact, you know, I am a product of a basketball tournament. There used to have a basketball tournament in Tuchur where I started my career at the scoreboard. You know, I started, uh, I know that when uh, a lot of uh, my senior players are playing, I used to keep uh, uh, scores on the scoreboard. I started the game like that. So I'm sure the tournaments like this can bring a lot of uh, youngsters into this uh, uh, game. So uh, I'm sure the know this year, we know this uh, organizer, uh, Ram Memorial Tournament, one of the uh, oldest tournament. So over to know uh, for your uh, uh, view on this topic. <laughs> Actually, I know everybody is complaining that we are not organizing any more tournaments. So, sorry for that. But, uh, you know, I mean, uh, <clears throat> there are multiple reasons, of course. Some that uh, Ram Kumarji pointed out. Uh, and it's all these tournaments are, of course, uh, you know, like an exposure for all the young players. Uh, but at the same time, you know, you have to understand from an organizer's point of view. Uh, See, I mean, the whole ecosystem of basketball, you know, needs to, uh, you know, probably have a big change. Uh, when in the 80s, 90s, when the, these tournaments used to be there, uh, you know, TV was not a medium of uh, great viewership. A lot of people used to come to watch these tournaments on the ground. Uh, but, you know, now TV and mobile and, you know, uh, technology has become... Uh, you know, really important in terms of, uh, you know, uh, growing any particular sport. Uh, so now if you compare uh, other sports who have really jumped in terms of uh, viewership, in terms okay, of right. holding, holding their fans, <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, basketball hasn't been able to do the same. So it's getting difficult in terms of... Uh, Conducting tournaments like Savio Cup and Ramo Memorial and stuff like that. And I understand the pain of the organizers, but we just need to have a big push in terms of uh, having good media present there, good uh, ambience present there. And so it's a lot of things that go into, uh, you know, conducting a tournament. And I hope that with the support of a lot more many people and uh, uh, the development of the ecosystem of basketball, you know, we'll be able to have... Uh, many things and NBA India Games is one of the you know major uh, you know example of that you know uh, just because the production value was so high you know there was so much demand for uh, you know the NBA game but if we can have something like that for Indian tournaments it will change the entire scenario. Hi you know sir Lakshmi Gandhi sir. Yeah, so uh, my question is that ki, aapne bola ki, uh, kaafi expensive hai aur kaafi expensive bear karna pata tournament organize karne mein ye sahi baat bhi hai. Agar baat kare Bombay mein to abhi bhi kaafi hai, itne tournament sote hai, bauju jo itne cost cutting aur sab kuch aur itna Bombay mein jo basketball ko leke jo passion hai. Lekin jo Sevio ka pa jo Ramu Memorial ko leke jo passion uh, hai logo mein, aaj bhi lo, har din agar hum dekhe to har din 10 message uh, amisa mein milte hai ki Sevio ka pa Ramu Memorial kyun nahi organize ho raha hai. कहीं ना कहीं आपने बताया कि काफी एक ओवर बजटिंग और काफी एक बहुत सपोर्ट की जरूरत होती है लेकिन ये सिनेरियो चेंज होता हुआ दिखाया अगर बॉम्बे की अगर आप बात करें तो बॉम्बे में ही स्ट्रीट बॉल लीग हो रहा है जो कि इतना एक फेमस लीग हुआ है तो सेवियो कप और रामो मेमोरियल को कराना दोबारा स्टार्ट करना कितना टफ है आप लोगों के लिए सी टफ तो नहीं है बट मेन चीज है कि यू नो वी नीड मनी राइट आई मीन वी नीड स्पॉन्सरशिप uh, Ramu and Savio has always been dependent on our uh, core group of people, uh, the organizers who used to contribute and basically uh, bring in the sponsorships. Uh, so, of course, if we get, uh, uh, you know, a lot of corporates coming in or a lot of uh, other supporters coming in, you know, it will be easier for us to organize and, you know, because the, the fan base is already there, you know, as many people in this forum are asking, we'll be organizing. Uh, there are a lot of people in the streets of Mumbai also are always asking when we be able to start these two. I just heard a conversation of Mr. Anil Kumar uh, and I really appreciated uh, the views he kept uh, in front of everyone. So my uh, question is to Mr. Troy Justice. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot. Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, hi, Troy. You have spent a good amount of years in India and uh, as a head of uh, NB India operations. So here, you know, here in India, cricket, uh, you, you know about the craze of cricket in India, how, you know, people are so much crazy about it. And cricket itself has a niche market 
in india so uh, for a game like basketball what strategy you know uh, because you are a vice president over there in npa so what strategy do you think indian basketball adopt to you know uh, to make a place in the market and to you know uh, uh, to create a to uh, like a, to uh, to, uh, to attract the people towards the game so what what do you think what do you suggest yeah so as we all know sports are inspirational aspirational so when the young kids around the country um see the stars um via the media outlets as you all have been uh sharing on the television and understand that there's an opportunity for a professional career in a particular sport it becomes aspirational and the parents say i need you to go to school and then i need you to go to after school but you can also play cricket in fact my mug if you look at my mug you know i've got a cricketer i'm from from my india mug so you know it's not but there's no basketball player on my india mug but this is the um you you all are i think the entire group here on um, the collective thoughts of the group uh, are right on track i think from the rural areas to increase grassroots participation uh to opportunities for the top players to play professionally whether it's in india or outside of india um i think all of these things create the entire ecosystem of basketball um coaching development referee development so i really believe it's a comprehensive approach and that all of these things need to be done well understanding they're all critical parts of the ecosystem so um i believe that there's a lot of gaps right now that need to continue to be uh worked on and um you know there there's a saying that synergy is 1 plus 1 equals 3 not 2 so the idea there is that all of us collectively can do more than we can do individually and so uh, a call like this is incredible i'm so encouraged by this call because it represents the idea of many great basketball stakeholder minds coming together to find solutions um i think that's the key um is to when we face a problem find a solution and then create the action and so the, the bad thing would be as if we we talk about the problem but we never find the solution so i i i think that this is the the idea here this is my this is my two tenth birth um and we want to do our part from the nba we want to do our part in india as well to support the basketball ecosystem and to work together with everyone um around the country to be a part of that solution you heard uh, the organizers talking about budget 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 on organizing the tournament so why don't we look on the three on three basketball the three street basketball i know try is the, uh, the the usa it's very famous uh, in even philippines and other places we promoted the three on three in india so why don't we look on promoting three on three basketball in india over to try uh, i know you are already uh, the npa is promoting this game uh, how it will be uh, to add more flavor uh, in indian basketball so the one thing i would mention on 3 on 3 um first of all it's a great grassroots development tool for youth to learn the game because they get more touches they get more shots um they get to handle the ball more they, they so it's a it's a very good teaching tool from that perspective so number one it's great to use for that purpose um secondly i think it's something that is easier to implement and probably a little simpler um and probably requires less sponsorship than a full blown 5 on 5 so again back to the point of a full basketball ecosystem 5 on 5 is necessary and 3 on 3 i think is also critically important to the ecosystem as you know it's becoming an olympic sport it will be in the Tokyo Olympics next summer uh, there's been delayed uh the, for the first time and as an olympic sport and so it's being recognized by fiba um and all of the basketball partners around the world so i, I would highly recommend pursuing uh this as well yeah uh, uh so kitu uh, are you there uh, i know that you have played uh, uh, uh man one medal for the country in 3 on 3 same with vishesh So over to you, Jitu, on uh, your view. Is it uh, in India the three-on-three three is not properly marketed? 
Uh, I think it is, but uh, we don't have uh, leagues. Uh, no, lot, uh, we only have. How many uh, tournaments we have in India? League. How many tournaments do we have in India? Only, uh, I think only uh, three PL. Uh, yes. They start uh, yes. last yes. year, yes. and then uh, uh, I think the three three PL uh, senior nationals also were there. Uh, then the three, uh, it's a very less very less tournament. That's the there. point. So that the point is that mm. it's not properly marketed in India. Over to Vishesh, your your point, your view on this. Well, uh, definitely there is uh, there are less tournaments for a three on three as well five uh, for five on five also, and uh, as a three ball and a street ball. After that, there was a senior nationals, and uh, I guess he too also went to Maldives after that. There was yeah, a more yeah, championship over there, so yeah. and uh, we also had a uh, Olympic qualifiers in the March. That has postponed because of this corona. So there is tournaments and uh, they are coming up. I, I, I guess uh, for three on three, there are uh, <laughs> there are lots of tournaments are coming. But uh, the main thing is to focus on the five on five. I think I think the three on three, as as Troy was mentioning, is a is a key is a key part of the grassroots development for working on fundamentals like dribbling, shooting. You, the the kids have more options of take more shots. Uh, have more the ball uh, and also on work and spacing and player development. Uh, I think I think honestly that the the main focus it has to be it has to be basis on the five on five because it's, this is this is where it's going to be probably and hopefully if we can all have uh, like a pro league that is where 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 we should where we should focus on. But as Troy was mentioning. I, I, it also can be like a, a parallel work, right? So we can work on on both sides. Uh, there is now currently so, so uh, some league uh, with a FIBA on the trivial, and I think that if the big names of uh, India basketball are playing there, it can be also a great tool to develop the to develop the league. My question is uh, um, to Vishesh uh, Ji. Uh, Regarding club level basketball, जहाँ तक देखा गया है all over the world club basketball is being promoted drastically. However, how many new clubs do we have in India? How much is the federation promoting club level basketball? Because the main problem is there is a large number of children who play basketball but are not from schools which have a basketball culture. So उनके पास कोई opportunity नहीं रहती है. क्लब लेवल बास्केटबॉल खेलने के लिए क्योंकि यही बचा हुआ है तो इसके ऊपर क्या विचार है आपके मैं हु इज स्पीकिंग ओवर देयर प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस द ऑल द पीपल हु आर क्वेश्चनिंग टेकिंग क्वेश्चन प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ माय नेम इज प्रद्युत वलीटी आई एम फ्रॉम ट्रिबल एकेडमी फाउंडेशन एंड आई वर्क विद हाय प्रद्युत actually व्हाट यू आर आस्किंग यू आर टॉकिंग टोटली अबाउट द बास्केटबॉल लीग इज इन इंडिया and uh, as uh, your first question uh, that uh, there is a new clubs in india or not so i can definitely tell you there as there are new teams new clubs in india right now as you can see in clubs that means means the uh, jobs and uh, things in india actually clubs no actually i'm india. sorry i'm sorry to interrupt you mera sawal uh, professional clubs ke liye nahi tha mera uh, sawal tha youth level pe under 14 level pe schools ke alawa कितने क्लब्स रजिस्टर किए जा रहे हैं जैसे मैं आपको एक छोटा सा उदाहरण दे रहा हूँ यूपी का नोएडा में दस हजार रूपए मांगा जा रहा है एक क्लब की अफिलियशन के लिए एक साल का दस हजार रूपए एक कोच की एक महीने की तनखा है अगर वो कोई सोसाइटीज में काम किया जाता है और वो क्लब की अफिलियशन अगर मैं करता भी हूँ जो मैंने की हुई है मेरे को कोई एक्स्ट्रा अपॉर्चुनिटी नहीं मिल रही है अगर मैं मैं अकेला क्लब हूँ यहाँ पर नोएडा में <coughs> man see i cannot say anything about this because i don't know what is happening in up and what is happening in noida and uh, who and uh, what he is taking but definitely uh, as i earlier uh, said to somebody that in india when this khelo india youth games has started i was uh, very much happy about that because uh, that was most required after under 14 and 16 there was not much tournaments for them So now, Kelo India and uh, all things are coming to all the states, states, and uh, as a national level also. 
and the ma- ma- main uh, consult for uh, me was uh, like uh, after under 19 when you play under 19 in india after that you don't have uh, any single tournament you directly come to senior nationals so the right. main consult was uh, where you will play if some 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 people get jobs some people get some good teams and they play senior nationals they play some all india tournament but what for others so now a- they play they mostly play uh, university that's all so now khelo india has started this university games also indeed so, uh, i am much happy with the government that they are supporting now with something like under 16 uh, youth game uh, khelo india youth games khelo india university games and hopefully there will be something for some juniors also very soon and uh, that's a good step from the government right sir thank you so much thank you pradyut i think we uh, we know the wants to add uh, something to this we know th- yeah i mean pradyut it's a very difficult question in terms of uh, <coughs> why club level is not promoted at the youth level but you also have to understand that india is a very large country and in terms of governance it becomes very difficult so actually i mean as the if you see in the us uh, it's more of school basketball then college basketball and then you get to you know shine and basically get it back so i mean uh, it, it's like chicken and the egg story but i would still prefer it to be uh, at the school level because there are more children in the school there are more opportunities to basically organize it it's easy to govern and you know it gives a platform for the school children and college children to uh, you know basically uh, come into the fore in terms of uh, you know their talents Sure. So the only problem I had with it is that, for example, I currently run a not-for-profit for fifteen hundred children. Those fifteen hundred children come from twenty-five different schools. These schools can be ranging from government schools to lower economic private schools. Now, for me to register twenty-five schools separately means affiliating twenty-five schools separately with the association comes very difficult. hence i feel that club level basketball allows children who are recreationally also playing in the evening to form their own team and be coached by their own society coach and play in tournaments because you will be surprised to note that there are a large number of children who are not playing in the school system but are playing in the evening in societies however understand. there is no opportunity for them currently understand because but see i mean every state uh, is governed differently for example in maharashtra uh you can have club affiliation and there are club tournaments at the city level and then of Indeed. course you have uh, the district teams and state teams and so, on. so of course it's more of an administrative issue and you know i totally understand your problem in terms of you want to give a platform for your uh, students to shine uh, but I, i i'm sure i mean uh, you know if we all come together and we'll have to change some of the rules in order to you know Uh, basically give them a right. right thank you vinod and uh, pradyut i would uh, I, we want to appreciate your hard work uh, i have personally had been to uh, your academy for a few occasions and uh, uh, it is a remarkable job you are doing please continue and uh, definitely there will be more opening ki okay, hamari indian team hai continuously acha perform nahi kar pati asian championship mein Last so many years, जैसे हम लोग स्टेट लेवल पे होते हैं वी नो कि हमारे को ये टूर्नामेंट पार्टिसिपेट करने के लिए जाना है जैसे सात आठ साल पहले हम लोगों के पास एक चैलेंज था राम सिंह ने कम बैक फॉर टूर्नामेंट स्पेशली फॉर जूनियर नेशनल चैंपियनशिप एट कोची तो हमें पता था कि वो टीम वो पंजाबी टीम जो है बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है इस टूर्नामेंट के अंदर तो हमने दिल्ली के अंदर उसी टीम को दो या तीन महीने का कैंप लगाया एंड वी अपॉइंट physician fitness trainer and all these things and in final we beat them in the junior national championship so why not be continuous in this uh, kind of coaching or pattern we follow in uh, asian championship ah uh, rajesh ji asian championship mein medal lene ke liye jaise maine pehle bataya abhi vishesh bhi yahan par hai he is the member of the current indian team he has yes, got very strong uh, will power uh, after getting injured recovering from injury he has come back and playing at this level aur jitne bhi abhi players kehte hain aap facilities ki koi kami nahi hai abhi to foreign coach bhi hai it matters that what government uh, sports ministry thinks what uh, the federation thinks what uh, coach thinks but the most important thing that what uh, player thinks 
प्लेयर को ये सोचना चाहिए कि दिस इज नॉट द हाईएस्ट बेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ योर सेल्फ